Once logged in, expand Menu Data Bank on the tree and click on Batch Item. Search for the batch you wish to archive and click onto the batch. First, check that the batch is not an ingredient in another batch or menu item. Select the Recipe Usage tab. This will show you if the batch is contained in either. If the batch is in a menu item or another batch, you will either need to update the recipe so that the batch is no longer an ingredient, or archive that menu item or batch if it is no longer active. Once the batch is no longer an ingredient, you can then archive the batch item from site. Click on the Where Use tab, and then click on Archive Batch Item from Site. In the FMB Manager pop-up window, expand any units to see which sites the batch is allocated to. A red cross indicates that the batch cannot be archived from that site. This may be because there's an opening quantity of the batch in the current period. If the box next to the site is empty, then the batch can be archived from that site. In order to archive the batch in Enterprise, the batch will need to be archived from all sites. Tick the boxes next to the sites and click on Step 2. A list of sites that the batch is going to be archived will be displayed. Click Finish, OK at the prompt and then close the window. Now displayed on the Where Use tab will be a Y under the Archive column next to the sites. To archive the batch in Enterprise, click on the Edit Batch item. At the bottom, select Archive Batch. Click OK and the batch will be disassociate itself from the ingredients and then be moved into the batch archive. If you need to retrieve the batch at a later date, click onto the batch archive and search for the batch. By clicking on Restore this batch, the system will then ask if you wish to put the ingredients back into the batch. Tick the boxes of required ingredients and then click on Next. The system will then ask if you wish to allocate the batch back to the sites that it was archived from. Tick the sites you want the batch to be allocated if required and click Step 3. The system will show you the list of ingredients being restored to the batch as well as the site it has been allocated to. Click Finish and the batch will now have been restored.